everybody, how are you doing? My name is Scrony and welcome back to Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. We are here, still standing in front of this dude, um, progressing the story very slowly. Uh, that actually, his name is Rantaro Amami, and I'll go, I'm gonna have to go ahead and look, but first things first, I want to check uh, an area that, m while I was editing last episode, I did not notice that if it was opened or not. This zone right here. Oh my god, it's open now. Oh, we couldn't go through here before, right? Looks like the, the iron gate opened. Precisely. So, was this what we were supposed to see? Well, damn. I looked everywhere else than the actual place that I was supposed to look in. Well, fuck me. I don't even know. Did someone open it for us? Let's check it out! It's probably the, um, the... The the caretaker girl thing, whatever. Oh! Is this the entrance hall? Right, uh, Shuichi? It must be... Uh, this must be the entrance hall, don't you think? I yeah, I suppose so. Which means... That door must be the entrance. If we walk through it, we can escape this place, right? I don't think it's gonna be so, sim uh, so simple. Wait, I don't think we should open doors carelessly. It could be a trap. So do I believe, but also it probably just wouldn't open. Because it's like we're locked inside, right? That's how it is in the other games, so... Ring about that isn't necessary, I have already examined the doors. Oh, uh... You wonder who is this? Uh, yes, I shall make it that clear first. Well, you look like someone which at least was in the army. I don't know. Oh, my name is... That makes sense, that you are the ultimate anthropologist. Kore Kyo, anthropologist? Please call me Kyo. As for anthropology, would you like a simple explanation? Okay, sure. You don't know what anthropology... Yeah. Uh, I, I actually do like anthropology, especially which is connected to Greek mythology. That's one of like the all the tales and myths and legends about it. I just I, I really do love it. So you and I are also gonna get along if you're not a, an actual douchebag like Byakuya usually is. I kind of got that he was like uh, usually getting to conclusions much faster than the other ones, but just to call the others dumb is so uncalled for. I just I don't understand. There may even be uh, customs in your daily life, the origins of which you do not know. For example, certain aspects of birthday, of New Year or New Year celebrations, actually, sorry. Anthropology sheds light on traditions and customs. Um, yeah, uh, such as these through rigorous analysis. Analysis, God damn it. It is a study that examines the thoughts behind culture, faith, and costume, cu uh, customs. God damn it. Um, okay, uh, I started to get it, but not really. It sounds like a lot of fun, though. Well, of course it's fun. It's a study focused on your humanity. Okay, now you're getting weird. This is the part I was talking about, that I was talking about. Everybody in this game seems to be even more ortho orthodox than everybody else. You know what I mean by orthodox? Just weirder than everybody else is um, in the other games, because in the other games there was like this one, or there were like one two people that were crazy, but these ones seem to be like already have like five or six crazy people that I've already seen. So I don't know. Uh, um, I found all aspects of humanity, even the ugly parts, to be beautiful. You mean like the wars? Our present situation is rather intriguing. 
What beauty will I be able to witness here? Probably death. Okay, <laughs> people are wonderful. This guy looks like a creep. And it turns out, he is one, too. Anyway, can we go outside if we just go through these doors, right? We can ju go, just go, okay. You should find the answers to such questions on your own. The moment your hopes are shattered, that too may be beautiful. Shattered? What does he mean by that? Are you going to be the guy which is intrigued by despair and is going to be fascinated by everybody else being in despair? Like... Uh, 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 I mean, if he's an, an, the ultimate anthropologist, that only makes sense because, you know, he's fascinated by humanity and uh, usually he's going to be more focused on like wars and stuff like that, which is where the most legends and myths and all that stuff were created. So it kind of makes sense, I guess. Obtain friendship and fragment, okay. There's bound to be somebody else, right? Not just us. So should we try to uh, to open these? Probably gonna die. Then let's go. Uh, okay. Determined as I was, I just couldn't muster the cu the courage to take that first step forward. To be honest, I was scared, because what if this is just... Ah, jeez, this isn't like me. Just because I'm scared doesn't mean I'm gonna run away, I gotta move forward. Ka Kaede... Don't worry about it, let's go, Su Shuichi. I psyched myself and with newfound strength walked boldly towards the, or the doors. Probably not gonna open even. Upon opening the doors, we were immediately greeted by blue skies, bright sun, light, a gentle wind, and death. What? Okay, Jawal? What? This is bizarre. Both words were accurate. What stood before was, was both cage and wall. Either way, the enormous wall uh, struck a terrifying chord. The mere sight of this, uh, of its imposing presence, was enough to send waves of panic through me. Hmm. No matter where we looked, ahead, behind, above, or all around, if it's a cage, it's it's got to surround you. Otherwise, it's just a metal like a metal structure that is missing a piece, so it's not a cage. I guess the cage surrounded the entire the entire school. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a cage. What is this? Oh, they're actually talking. Holy shit! The five monokumas mon monocubs are back. Actually, surprised about the cage, huh? I totally mi uh, understand how you feel. The first time I saw it, my teeth and fingernails fell out. That's not a healthy way to react to a surprise. Beard, uh, but it's so awesomely huge, I can see why it's called the end wall. End wall? Normally, walls are erected to separate two places, right? But that wall is different. It represents the end of the, of the world. What are you talking about? Hmm? What were we talking about? Huh? Was someone talking? Was I talking? <laughs> Stop laughing and explain yourselves. There's nothing to explain. This is simply how it is, so please don't bother. You can get uh, get out of here. You can't get out of, there, of here, actually. That wall has no entrances or exits, and it cannot be climbed or demolished. An ultimate could probably climb it part way, but most of the time it's impossible. But they can still sort of climb it, huh? I took a deep breath and shouted at the wall as loud as I could. Someone help us! Eep! Please help us! Eep eep! Someone, anyone, please help us! We're trapped inside this huge cage! 
I shouted as, as loud as I could, but for all my shouting, there was no response. Uh, uh, uh. Please stop! You'll hurt your throat! Yeah, scream all you like, no one can hear you anyway! Uh, and you're not the one to talk, kiss, guy, ban, dude, whatever. No one can hear us? What do you mean? What do you mean no one can hear us? Dot dot dot. Say something! Dot dot dot. Poor Monodum. Monodum, he just can't talk, so don't be pushy with him. One of you just answer! Dot dot dot. Damn it! Monodum is ignoring them excellently. Excellently! God damn it, because he refuses to open his heart. You can uh, thank my fearsome bullying for making that happen. Now, now, let's all get along. Shut up! We're monocubs! We need to be tough... Uh, tough and whatnot. What is this? You know things? This school? What is all this? The investor, you investors will have to use your legs, hands and eyes to find out Find that out for yourselves. But please watch your step while you explore. The school is still under construction. Under construction? I looked around. It was true. Some areas did did seem as if they were uh, still under construction. Oh, so this is like this is going to be the progress thing. In the in the um, first game, as you progress, you got more. Um, uh, I just uh, got a so lightheaded. Well, um, you got more floors as you progressed, and, and in the second game, you got more islands as you progress. Uh, actually, you I think you got more islands as you progress. I haven't checked that out yet because I well I'm still playing that game. So, well. Um, and I know, yes, that I am playing this 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 video game again, and I should be playing another one. But you know, this game just struck me, and I wanted to play another part. I actually forgot to mention that in the beginning of the video, didn't I? Probably. Uh, but yeah, that's the reason why I'm playing it today, and not one of the others, which I should probably be playing the second one. Which I was precisely just talking about. This must be the progression in in this game. As the more you progress, the more buildings get constructed. Probably, I think, maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, what just happened? What the hell did I just kick? That was just weird. I was just kicking cables and all that stuff. Well, um, it looks like they're still building some of the facilities here. Are they still in the middle of building this school? I don't think so. It seems more like they're renovating an abandoned school. Either way, the construction will finish soon once we set the uh, exosols in autopilot. On autopilot. Exosols? One big part. Uh, once part of a biker gang, the exosols. Uh, yeah, now we're co uh, a construction to support their wives and kids. Do robots really need that kind of backstory? Maybe not. Uh, their steering wheels and uh, are leopard print, and uh, and their dashboards are lined with arcade prizes. I mean, th those robots don't need backstories, but I think they do need origins, which is kind of different. Just, uh, like, explain us, give us a brief explanation of how they came to be. Otherwise, we're just confused. Seriously, knock it off, you guys. You, they sound like douchebags uh, with backstories like those. Okay, then you're just gonna go away. I uh... Well, and there they go, but more importantly What they said re Is what they said really true? We can't ex escape. We can't go over the wa that wall and no one is coming to rescue us dot, dot, dot. But if I give up then what I slapped both my cheeks as my face Grew warm, I could feel my determination returning. Hey, Shuichi, 
Let's go. Let's go see if we can find a way out. Dot dot dot. I slapped him upside his head, just firm enough to get his attention. Ow! Shuichi, I'm not great at, motiva at motivating others, but we can't give up just because of a wall. Also, I forgot to mention last episode that an, a little neat feature, which is like this little screen of her reaction in kind of real time, you know, as, as to what's happening, usually didn't exist in the other games, and this game they implemented that. I kind of like it. We came to in somewhere, so there has to be an exit. We may not be able to escape now, but we'll do it eventually, somehow. Everyone just has to cooperate if we all want to get out of here. Yeah, that's right. It's too early to give up. It's too early. That was just weird. These are the dormitories, I guess, then. And who are you? Jeez! How did they even? Uh, how did they even make this big ass wall? Seriously, I just don't get it. I wonder what will happen now if we can escape soon. Then, what? Are you complaining? Huh? Quit complaining and grumbling. I'll or I'll turn you into a habit. Besides, this cage is nothing compared to the vastness of the universe. The universe. Uh, oops, I haven't introduced myself yet. Mm -hmm, my bad. I'm. How does that work? How about it? I'm an astronaut. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I I've never been to space, so I don't know that much about it. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> well, of course. No, uh, not just anyone can get up there. I may be an astronaut, but I'm actually still in training. Oh, I see, so you're still a trainee. But I'm the first teenager to ever pass the exam. I mean, normally you need a college degree to even take the, the exam. Huh? How, then how did you take the exam? I had a friend who was pretty crafty, so I had him forge some stuff for me. That's illegal! Yeah, I ended up getting caught. I was in pretty deep shit. Deep shit, actually. But the people up top decided they liked me and let me in anyway. Of course I aced the exam too. So he actually does know stuff about space. Cool. I like space too. I say I like a lot of things, don't I? In, especially in this ga in these games. That's reckless. Sometimes you gotta be a little reckless to make your dreams a reality. And my hair is all getting caught up in my headphones for some reason. No way I can wait till the after college. I wanna get to space as fast as I can. You sure have a lot of energy. Yeah, everyone told me it was impossible, but I never gave up. Not for a moment. That's because limits don't exist unless you set them for yourself. Yeah, sky's the limit! There are no walls you can't get over. The same goes for that one. So do you have any ideas? Nope. <laughs> exactly. That's not the problem. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, no, that is the problem. Jeez, this guy sure talks a big game. But you know, at least, at least he's optimistic. Can we not go there? Apparently not. Can we not, like, no. That's just too bad. I'd like to see what's there. Maybe there is a way. Maybe we can go through here. Or maybe that's just under construction. Okay, then. We'll just go to the next area. And, oh, hello. Who are you? Dot, dot, dot. Whoa, this guy looks scary. He's so big and muscular. Um, excuse me? Huh? Oh, thank you! He looks like... He looks like um, a long-haired version of Clark Kent. Meaning by that, the Superman's alter, alter ego, you know, the version that actually roams around the streets. Uh, thank you? Oh, sorry for scaring. Uh, Gunt, uh, uh, scary looking. Oh! 
Oh, I, I get it. Most people do not want to talk to Gonta when meeting for the first time. So, like gentlemen, Gonta, say thank you. Thank you for talking to Gonta. Um, thank you for being so polite. He's He looks scary, but he doesn't even... He doesn't seem very scary at all. Okay, so this character actually... The, he is like... I don't know if you've seen the... There's... There's an, one of the animations of Danganronpa that is actually another killing game. There are, I think there are only two uh, killing game uh, animations made. And the second one is not in the story at all. And it has a character that is kind of like this one. He looks very frightening. <laughs> very, very frightening. But he is actually a soft heart and he even has a, a child's voice and everything, so... Yeah. Oh, right. Gonta need to make introduction. Um, Gonta... Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, so you're Gonta. That's a really cute name. Really? Uh, thank you. Oh, you're actually being pretty nice. Silly of me for being so scared at first. Uh, oh, Gonta's scary looking, huh? Oh, sorry, that's not what I... No, it's okay. Gonta used to it. Gonta called scary since he was a kid. Since you were a kid, huh? Kid Gonta bigger than other kids. G other kids scared of Gonta. So, Kid Gonta play alone. That's how Gonta uh, come to like bugs. Yeah, okay. I get it. Whew! Well, uh, but when Gonta really focus, it easy looks uh, to lose track. One day, Gonta go to forest to find bugs and up lost. That sounds rough. Were they able to find your, you right away? Yeah, took 10 years though. 10 years? But Gonta fine. New family took care of Gonta. That's why he has so much uh, trouble speaking and it's a, it's actually his language is like right now is like a dialect from from a caveman. I don't understand why why that why would it would be like that. If you went missing for like 10 years, then he had like the dialogue of a child, right? Maybe. I see, I'm glad they were nice people. Oh, not people, wolves. Wolves? Oh, that explains even more. But they really nice. Because of forest family, Gonta learned to speak bug and animal. As thanks, Gonta wanna show forest family what, what great gentleman Gonta is. Um, how is becoming a gentleman going to thank them for that? This place strange, huh? Lots of plants, but no bugs. Yeah, I, I, I think that would be kind of weird. Wait, really? I suppose it's understandable that mm, there are no animals, but no insects? That's strange, not even a, one bug. You like bugs too? Hey, what's your favorite bug? What do you like about them? Uh, 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 no, I wasn't saying that I like bugs or anything. Then you hate bugs. What? You hate bugs? Um, you don't uh, hate bugs. You love them, right, Shuichi? Yeah, of course I do. I love bugs. Oh, okay, that's good. Nobody, a person like bugs. Likes bugs, okay then. Okay, so now we're acquaintances, I guess. That was scary. Phew, yeah, I thought we, we, you were gonna die. Honestly, I can't stand bugs either, but I might, but it might be best to hide that. Hello? Yeah, uh, how are ya? I might... Oh... That makes too much sense. You're pretty cheerful. She's a bit too happy considering the situation we're in right now. Yeah, there's no reason to carry bad thoughts with you. So she's like always looking at the positive side of things. 
she's going to be the actual one which is going to be sane for this whole goddamn endeavor. Like Hina in the first game, she's all cheerful most of the time. So, and in the second game that would be... Ibuki. The, she's very cheerful as well, as well as... There's another character which is pretty cheerful, I think. Yeah, Princess Sonia is a little bit as well, so... Yeah, there's no reason. To, yeah, okay, they already read this. Uh, you gotta live life, uh, live every day like it's bright, cheery, and fun. So say Zatwa. Atwa? The, the god of my island, Atwa, is always uh, with me, speaking to me with his divine, uh, divine voice. I don't actually know if this is a thing. It's probably just made up. Because usually games make these things up, you know, like religions and stuff like that. But I don't know, I'd be curious to know other uh, of stuff like this. Oh, well, she's certainly devout. Well, but she she's she's going to be... Uh, she's going to at least going... Mm, as she has the divinity, the mask guy is going to find her very interesting. Do you specialize in... In painting or sculpting, neither. No, both, uh, apparently. Hmm. Okay. I paint paintings and I sculpt sculptures. But that was the one who uh, who makes the art. That was the one that ma that makes the art. I merely offer my body as his vessel. Yeah, how divine! I see. That's interesting. Uh, if you don't mind. Can you show me more about of your artwork? Oh, of course, of course, in return, will you make an offering? An offering? Every Monday and Wednesday mornings on my island, a truck comes to collect offerings. That sounds oddly similar to putting the trash for pickup. Oh no, that could be like one of those business says of like, you know, um People even do this, uh, this stuff, it's like a stuff, like, how do, how do I put this, like, they make people in one, in an island, or they do know that a person, uh, like, a, a village is really devout to a, a god or whatnot, and then every single thing they do is like, um, like, all the offerings, like, Clothes, usually money, and and food and all that stuff is all collected in a big truck, which is actually going to a rich guy that influenced them to actually believe in that divinity. So they actually think they're giving it to their god when they're actually being tricked. That could be the case. Don't worry, don't worry. When I say offering, I just mean a, a pint or t a pint or two of your blood. Oh, that's even darker, okay. Don't worry. Um, I'm a bit anemic, so I'll pass. I see, how about you then? Uh, me? Boy's blood is also ex an acceptable offering. Come on, come on, it won't hurt one bit. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, don't, wa don't run away. This girl is so weird. I mean, for her culture, all this makes sense, so you shouldn't judge her by like that. Okay, so how many people have we met and how many people are missing? Let me just check on the map here. I believe that's... Oh no, that's not everybody. There's actually someone missing. This building is round and has a, a lots of smaller rooms inside. So this is the dormitory where everybody's going to sleep. That actually looks like a pen... Like... Prison. Penitentiary, you know. It, it fucking looks like a fucking prison. I don't know why. Okay. Why, hello, bear. Sorry to intrude. What is it this time? And what do you mean by intruding? Because it's your home, you bastards. We finished setting up the showers. Now you can go pee. Why don't why don't they just use the toilets? Huh? Uh, even for number two? Wait, do, do you go number two on the shower? Ew, that's gross. Oh, okay, I get. I I, I wasn't getting it in the beginning, but farewell, haha. <laughs>
Always the freaking bear puns. What do you mean our home? They mean for us to live here. See, there are 16 doors. Perhaps a room for each of us? I don't plan on staying here long enough to need a room. You're probably gonna have to, it's not gonna be a choice. Just saying that. I failed to see their objective. Uh, what do you mean? If they're holding us for a reason, a large facility such as this would be unnecessary. Furthermore, I gather they would rather take care of us than hurt us. In light of this, if I, I fail to see the true objective of the culprits uh, responsible for kidnapping us. Culprits, huh? I never even thought about that. Why, uh, why would our kidnappers go to all this trouble? 16 ultimate students have been gathered here, but why? What's the reason? Can you just imagine if if this went in the deep web and you actually could pay uh, like ten dollars to watch a killing game like this live? People would like see the shit out of it for some reason because some people just went to watch. Some men just went to watch the world burn. Oh, pardon me. I haven't. In I have not introduced myself yet. Mm. Not stereotypical at all. Wow, the ultimate maid sounds like a really cool talent. Oh wait, I've I've heard of Ki uh, um, Kirumi Tojo, an ultimate with incredible intellect and strength, work uh, working as a private maid. I heard that her work is so perfect she can complete any request given to her. What? She's that amazing? Please, you are exaggerating. I will not mm, uh, complete any request that is asked for of me. I want to see the uh, request to in, uh, annihilate a rival, uh, rival nation, but as it was impossible, I rejected it. But being requested to do that is pretty impressive on its own. Not if it's like someone which actually doesn't know the limits of her, so... Yeah, someone could just be like, hearing that she's amazing and be like, Can you please kill this nation for me? And she'll be like, Fuck no, I can't do that. I I've also heard that she's been hired as bodyguard to several foreign ding dignitaries. I have only been employed as a maid, not as a bodyguard. But... You've been hired by so many important people. You're like a super maid. Moving on. What do you intend to do now? That's a tough question. Hmm. What should we do? What would you do, uh, Kirumi? I hold no options of or desires of which to speak. As a maid, my only desire is to fulfill the desire the desires of others. Oh, please don't tell me there's going to be like one one of the killings is going to actually be done by her because somebody else asked her to do it. Oh, that would be so fucked up. But also genius because then she would be the one to die and not the actual person that killed her. That killed her, you mean. The I mean the person who actually died, she, she would be the culprit, not the person who actually intended for them to die. So please, think about what you desire for, for yourself and what you desire for me. No matter the situation, no matter what happens, I am here to save to serve everyone. Even in this situation, she's more concerned for others. Well, she is the ultimate uh, maid after all. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. Is it gonna end now? Oh, that's neat. Dang, dang. Kaede, look, the monitor. Oh. There are little toys of everybody here. That's amazing. Hi, thanks for bearing with us. Ha ha ha, we're so funny. Kept you bastards waiting, huh? Everyone, make your way to the gym, please. The opening ceremony can finally begin. Phew, we finally finished our preparations. You do realize you, you just read your lines backwards, don't you? 
So long, very well. Buh. Jim? Opening ceremony? Kaede, what should we do now? What should we do? Go, of course. Everyone else is probably go doing the same thing. True, but I'm a little worried about this. Well, I'm not a little worried. I'm very worried. Let me just go into the gym. See what's up. Entrance ceremony, right? Yep, everybody's here. All 16 of us have gathered. Mm. 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 <laughs> it's pretty spectacular seeing all 16 of us ultimates gathered together. <laughs> uh, you, you may not be able to be so easy going for much longer. Uh, in this situation, it's no use thinking about things, so eventually Tsumugi stopped thinking. Um, yeah, what's going to happen to us? I bet it will be a big pain. Um, what are you looking at? Um, Himiko, can you use your uh, amazing powers, right? You can use amazing powers, right? You'll... Because you're a psychic and stuff, right? A psychic. I'm not a psychic. I'm a mage. Wow, that's amazing. I definitely want to incorporate that into Nao Aikido. Hey, what sort of tra training did you undergo to uh, gain your uh, awesome powers? Talking about uh, talking about it is too tiring. You're pretty lazy. Pardon me, but we need to we need to be on our guard. No, actually, I'm not gonna do that. He's like a very humanized version of a robot, so we don't know uh, if and when the danger will strike. Don't say that. I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. There's actually n there is no need to worry. Atua will protect us. Phew, that's a relief. Is your brain full of weeds or something? I whack them out of your uh, the skull your ears. Don't worry about it, just leave it to me. If those teddy bears show themselves again, I'll kick their asses. Huh? What that? Hmm? What's wrong? Listen, hear that? Oh, I forgot to hear. I forgot I hear. I think I hear it. It sounds like an engine from a robot anime. <laughs> uh, it's the Exosols. Shit. Are we gonna die this time? Please do not. The story would be pretty quick if that were the case. Everyone behind Gonta! What the heck are these monsters? Wow, so cool! They're exosols! I mobile bipedal weapon platforms! They got lots of hometown pride too! This, I've already read this last time, haven't I? I can't c keep track of these backstories. <laughs> Whatever they are. Oh shit. Um. They better kill off the the Ugos and save me for last. Run, Himiko! Why are, are you concerned about me all of this all of a sudden? She he's just making a joke. Didn't you get it? And didn't someone say they would kick their all their asses? What the hell? Nobody told me about these. All right, chill out. No need to panic. We're probably not in in any danger. If they wanted to kill us, they'd already uh, they'd have all done it by now. God damn it! With that, uh, Ran uh, Rantaro casually um, walked up to the ex exosols. So, what do you want from us? You clearly want something. That's what the guns are for, right? So, let me guess. You you're gonna force us to do something, and if we don't, we get hurt. Well, you have our attention, so what do you want? He's actually pretty smart. I like this guy. He's very, like, cool-minded and he's able to to keep himself calm in these situations and not break, um, burst like a fucking gigantic piece of, of hormones, you know, like all the other teenagers just reacted. Uh, hopefully he doesn't die first. Probably he's gonna be... Whew, He's gonna be the first one now that I that, that I said that probably just jinxed his luck right now. Sorry, dude. Probably gonna die now. 
Um, huh. Well, aren't you a wise guy? I'll start. Uh, I'll start off. Uh, I'll start us off. Listen up. Here's what we uh, want you, Pancasas, to do. Uh, my heart's going 100 miles per hour. I'm gonna say, are you ready? Well, yeah. It's a. Uh, Oh no, that's so dark! He took it to hearts! Oh my god! Killing game! What? M one of them! How are you? Uh, how dare you upstage me? Wait a second! What did you just. did you say? If I heard him correctly. Is that the only thing you say, like a Pokemon? Killing game. Oh, he said it again? Oh, god damn it, one of them! I'm gonna crush you uh, with this here Exesol. Come on! We don't have uh, time to fight amongst ourselves. Yeah! If you don't stop fighting, I'm gonna crush you with this uh, here Exesol. You too, Monotaro! If this is. If this is what, what it's come to, then I'll crush the four of you with this here Exosol. You're not different. Hey, why are you including me? Oh, well, it's it's more appropriate for us to be hostile to each other. Do you wanna go, Jabroni? Oh, who are you calling Jabroni, Jabroni? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> You're not helping Tonika,危険です。このままでは僕らも巻き添えに。おやめなさい。可愛い我が子たちよ。醜い争い合いはやめるのです。<gasps> <gasps> Is it? Father! Father, is that you? Papa Kuma! Papa Kuma! Daddy! Uh, where are you, Daddy? Daddy? At that moment, the lights of the, in the gymnasium suddenly shut off. Yes! Monokuma's back! I knew that it couldn't just be the five monocubs. Why does he have wings, though? Oh, thank God. Why is the voice different? The voice is different, god damn it. It's not the same thing. It's very close, but I don't think it's the same voice. Yay, father's here! Hell yeah, another epic entrance from Papa Kuma. That is so cool. Dot dot dot. My cute little cubs, you're all so freaking cute. The only reason I can tolerate you, the tiresome antics, is cause you're all so cute. Even when the prologue is uh, going w uh, way too long, I'll allow it because you guys are cute. In fact, the very first prologue ever was only co uh, short cause you cutie pie uh, cutie patooties weren't there. Pops, are, uh, are, are you mad at us? Don't be an idiot, I would never get mad at my little c uh, cubs. Oh, he's mad! But that is so cool even when he's angry. Pops is from a planet of handsome bears that get cooler as they get angrier. S Super Monokuma, Super Monokuma 2, Super Monokuma 3, and finally Super Monokuma 4. Then Super Monokuma God, and then Super Monokuma God M M Monokuma. No. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Holy shit! 
Now many uh, how many times do I gotta say it? I'm not mad. Uh feathers is <laughs> Oh my god, I guessed it correctly. Then it's just gonna be Dot 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 from Monodam, probably. Oh, not even. Anyway, I'm really not mad. In fact, I gotta admit that I'm actually proud of you guys. You kids really stand out from the rest of the second generation failures in the world. Isn't that a little harsh? I'm sure mm, there are some second-hand generation success stories. I can't think of any though. If you, you can't think of any, it's cause none of, uh, are worth remembering. Cause he knows everything. Hey, <laughs> I love embracing my children. You're so cute, I just can't help myself. Usually, ratings will plummet when mascots appear in sequels too much. But in this case, ratings are through the roof. All thanks to the cute monocubs. What, what is this? What's going on? Another teddy bear appeared. Yes, but that is no ordinary teddy bear. I can see it. Despair and madness swirling around that, that cursed, cursed thing. Whoa! I'm no teddy bear! I'm Monokuma! And show some respect! I'm the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles! Wow! I really wanted Monokuma in this game and it was delivered! So hopefully not everything that I say actually becomes true, otherwise the, the guy that I like so much is gonna die in the beginning. Woo! Headmaster? It appears to be some sort of automata... Uh, autonomous... Autonomous. Uh, for fuck's sake, I was gonna say it correctly. Why do I always think I'm gonna say things wrong? Uh, autonomous robot uh, with a built-in AI like me. Dong, dong, dong! The axisols are different though, they're brainless buckets of bolts. They're mindless pretty ki uh, killing machines that can only be controlled by us, the monocubs. Autonomous robots piloting weapon platform, we weapons uh, platforms, this is certainly turning into quite the story. Well, that may be, but what I'm worrying about is this killing game you mentioned. What exactly does that mean? Boop, boop, boop. What's so amusing? Yeah. It's just, when I said it before, I kind of just phoned it, it, it in and now I feel awkward. I want you students to, uh, with your ultimate level talents to participate in a killing game. Killing game? Us? Please stop joking. Why would we agree to participate in a killing game? Huh? You guys don't want to do it? Of course not, gentlemen. Not hurt people. But if you uh, looked, uh, if you've, l uh, if you've looked around the academy, then you already know, don't you? The academy is surrounded by a huge wall. You can escape from uh, to the outside world, and as long as we have the exosols, you can defy us. In other words, I hold the power of life and death of over each and every one of you. So, do what you uh, say if we don't w if we don't want to die. You gotta be kidding me! Why would friends kill each other? You s who said you guys were friends? You guys aren't friends at all. Your enemies out to kill each other. Enemies? We're enemies? Hmm. I still have a lot to learn from father about sarcasm. All this talking is bugging the shit out of me. I gotta beat up one of them to relieve my the stress. Dot, dot, dot. But I don't like that. I'm not good with mm, violence or gore or sad situations. Um, Daddy, instead of a killing game, could we do a rock, paper, scissors tournament? 
Who'd w wanna play a game who, where no one dies? Well, you do have a compassionate per personality. It's so cute I can barely stand it. Why, it's cute en enough to eat, cute enough that I wanna eat it. So she's like Monomi in the past, in, in the last game. Huh? Hey, uh, Monofane, uh, funny, uh, you might wanna dial back the cute shit, uh, shtick a bit. Dot, dot, dot. Cool with, cool it with the stupid banter. I want to ask something. How are you supposed to, how are we supposed to kill each other? Are you going to give us weapons? What the hell, man? Why, what are you asking? We need to get, uh, to get info for them, uh, from them first. We can't do anything, anything if we don't do, we don't know anything. Weapons? Huh? What kind of barbaric display are you in, in, envisioning? You couldn't be more wrong. Why, at, uh, at the Ultimate uh, Academy for Gifted Juveniles, the killing game is quite ref the refined, sophisticated experience. Sophisticated experience? Yes! Here the killing game is punctuated by class trials. Class trials? Okay, let us explain, I already know all this. Yep. Why did your language suddenly turn like that? You you don't you didn't say like two freaking swearing words in in a sentence before? You turned so violent. もし学級裁判で間違った人物を黒に選んでしまった場合は罪を逃れた黒だけが生き残って残った白全員がお仕置きされてしまうんだよヘルイエーこれが学級裁判のルールだぜ Hmm Yep, that's pretty much it Ah, too much. That explanation revealed way too much. You gotta be m uh, more coy, flirtatious, seductive, just like your old man. Gross. The point is, it's not enough to kill someone. You also have to survive the glass trial. Kill without being caught and then survive the trial. Sounds eerily similar to the real world. You think so? Then the outside world m must be masterfully designed. Even at its cruelest, one can likely imagine, but I shall ask, just in case. What is the punishment you've mentioned earlier, death? It, uh, simply put, it's an execution. Execution? Oh, I wonder what kind of punishment there will be. Lots of blood and guts and brains, I bet. The kind of stuff that gives me a raging... Okay, I'm not gonna... Boner. What? Mono Kid? Uh, you already have a boner? Yeah, I'm so hurt right now. Blood, guts, brain. Okay, she's the character they ought to overreact with gory stuff. Okay, then. Whoa! Monofany uh, just puked. I'm so freaking hard. Huh? Puke gives you a, bu a burner too? Ah, uh, uh, you kids are just adorable. What the hell's cute about that? All right, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm over all this boring exposition. 
Let's get this heart pounding killing school se semester started already. You have the uh, free reign to murder whoever you like to. Okay. Ooh, jeez. Hmm. That would actually be like pretty much Joker in a in a nutshell. Let your victims to death. That's that sounds very much like him. Yep. <laughs> this is all just every time every game that I play about of this series the the three big games that actually exist of this um, series all of them every time I think like is if this actually happened in real life, I'd probably just not be able to do this. I don't know if I would. I probably not. Killing school sem uh, semester. Semester. Semester, yeah. It's like a game. <laughs> Risking our lives for some silly game is absurd. It doesn't seem like a b it'll be boring though. How, hey, how can you degenerates be so calm? Because they're calm uh, by nature and also to hide their fear that you're showing right now. This, this has to be a lie, right? It's a lie, right? No, it's never a lie. A lie, more like fiction. Like a story on TV. A scenario so removed from reality, we can hardly believe it's happening. Yeah, probably. I don't want to be in a killing game. It's wrong. I'd never do that. If you don't want to participate in the killing game, that's going to be a problem. Because you're probably gonna die. Because the killing game is the only reason you're here. Well, then... What are you gonna do? Kill me if I don't? I mean, probably. What? So if I don't, I'm gonna get killed, probably. Now then, unleash your talents and have a happy, homicidal, horrific, hilarious killing game. Wh wait a minute! Huh? No matter what you say, we won't do it. Okay then. We'll never participate in a killing game. Whatever you have planned, I'm not gonna let you get away with it. Kaede, you should just, you shouldn't just rashly defy that thing. No, no, I welcome her resistance. That that kind of defiant spirit is important to the killing game. It's fun to watch the defiant ones eventually snap and get their hands dirty. What what do you mean by that? Everyone loves that kind of brutality in the death game, especially me. It never gets old. It's so fun and entertaining that I just can't unbearably uh, pump up. Plus, as the headmaster, it's my job to force you to do it. Yep. It's gonna fucking start. We stood in a dumbfolded silence, surrounded by the squealing laughter of Monokuma and his cubs. Everything about the situation was so messed up. An academy surrounded by a giant wall. Sixteen ultimate students trapped inside. Mysterious stuffed bears and deadly weapons. And new friends for us to play a, some killing game. It all felt like some can, uh, something for, uh, out of a, sadist, a sadistic work of fiction. A sadistic story, no different from reality itself, and against my will, I was now a character in that story. Oh, it's the actual introduction. 
I don't know if this is going to be copyrighted or not. Hopefully not. Love Danganronpa so much, really. I actually like this version. It's not the same, like, technologically feely to it, but it does have a certain charm to it. Ultimate Revival, end. So now what's, what's going to be now? Note, in the present, Ultimate uh, Academy for Gifted Juveniles badge. Would you like to save? Yes. Just real quick. Please, please, yes, thank you, real quick. It's saved. Let's go. After Monokuma and the Mono Cubs left, an alarm suddenly rang from my monopad. Probably the rules, right? Not just from mine. The alarm was going off uh, th uh, throughout the whole gym. Which meant everyone else had received the monopad as well. When I took mine out, a message was explained in, on the screen. Ultimate e-handbook, okay. Regulations, exactly. Students must live at the Ultimate Academy for the, remain, uh, for the remainder of their foreseeable future. Once the murder takes place, all surviving students must participate in the class trial. If the blackened is exposed during the class trial, the, uh, they alone will be executed, and the, uh, the other way around, and everybody else will be executed, exactly. If the, uh, the blackened survives the class trial, <clears throat> they will graduate and re-enter the outside world. The killing game and class trial will continue until only two surviving students remain. Nighttime is from 10pm uh, to 8am. Uh, the dining hall and gymnasium are off limits at night. The violence for Monokuma, the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy, is strictly prohibited, as we saw in the first game. If you haven't seen it, well... Monokuma will never uh, never directly commit a murder. Your monopads are very important items, so please do not damage them. The body discovery announcement will play when three or more students discover a body. Also, why aren't the monopads this time uh, supposedly unbreakable? They in the other games they were, I believe they were in both of them. Why why didn't they specify this that time this time actually? With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore the campus at your discretion. Students who violate uh, the rules will be Im immediately uh, ter exterminated by the Axisels. Axisels. The headmaster uh, uh, may add m uh, new regulations to this list at any time. So yeah, if he finds fitting. You gotta be kidding me. I will never... Hmm. You'll probably have to. N not even if you... Even if you just... If you don't want to. I mean, you're gonna have to anyways because you're gonna have to participate in the trials and in investigations. You can't just not do this, otherwise you'll just die. 
Uh, the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juvenile School Regulations. So these are the rules. I don't understand why someone would force us to do this. But the rules are pretty cut and dry. This game doesn't seem to like it, it'll be boring. That's not the problem. Please lower your voice. It is ruining the atmosphere. Hey, hey! What does this this sixth uh, regulation mean? Perhaps it's because you, you couldn't do a survival a trial with just two people. Yeah. Yeah, I see, I see. You're so smart, Chuichi. Quit screwing around. Killing game. School regulations. To hell with all that crap. Who'd go along with something like that? Kaito raised the monopad as if it smashed the device on the ground. Whoa, hey now, don't do that. School rules say you can't break it. If you violate the rules, then the Exosols will dispose of you. I don't care about the rules, no way I'm gonna play the, this messed up game. So uh, this isn't about playing the game, it's too dangerous to disobey him now. Forget about him, it just, just means uh, one less dumbass for the world to deal with. Hey, who are you calling a, da a dumbass? I took a de uh, deep breath and then shouted with all my might. Hey, quit fighting already. Oh, oh, oh what the... We shouldn't be fighting amongst ourselves. Right now we need to work together. Honestly, I'd probably be more in, in uh, be more ex inspiring if I played a song that gave a, then gave a speech. <laughs> Japan's military polonaise will, will polonaise would definitely help us uh, uni unite us. Yeah, I could get behind some bolognese, and I don't believe uh, even in like to meat or tomatoes. I don't even like. God damn it, meat or tomatoes? Okay. I agree with Kaede too, we must remember who the real enemy is, and the master told me that strength must always be aimed in, proper, in the proper direction. Anyway, uh, you're all panicking too much to say on like me. Wow, you're shaking so much. Even I can handle these intentions uh, vibrations, and trust me, I've got loads of experience anyway. Why don't we uh, work together and search for an exit one more time? But we looked all, all over the, that wall and there wasn't a single hole. Now, wait just a second. If there's no opening in the wall, then how did we get inside these walls in the first place? They just threw you over it. Oh, good point. It's again a case of the locked room. Actually, this was talked about in another Dragon Open game. First, they were put inside here, then they built the wall. That means there, there must be an opening somewhere. We have just have to find it. However, uh, trapped us uh, here. Whoever trapped us here actually wants us to fight each other. So let's show him what we're not gonna let that happen. We're not gonna fight each other. Um, we're not. Go we're gonna work together, okay? Dot dot dot. Why are you so quiet? Did I say something wrong? On the contrary, you made your case with such uh, succinct ap aplomb that we've uh, been uh, rendered speechless. Eh, <sighs> I was gonna say the same thing, but you beat me to it. Uh, uh, you're exactly right. We can't give up so easily. Hmm. Let's split up and try to find the exit. Oh, Atwa gives us strength. I must admi admit, I admire your spirits. Oh, wait. Yeah, uh, what, what is it? We're just about to get started. Um, maybe it not matter much, but Gonta maybe uh, find uh, g g Gonta find manhole earlier in grass behind school building. A manhole? Gonta peek in, see, see big underground passage. Think maybe it exit. Sorry, it's Pro is probably not, not is probably not so simple. You gotta mention important stuff like that much faster. Gonta Pekin, uh, uh, see, see big, uh, uh, big underground passage. I think maybe it acted. 
Mmm, wait, not like that. You're talking too fast. The boiler is behind the school building. Um, we must cor corroborate Gonta's cl claim at once. Gonta, please lead the way. Okay, everyone follow Gonta. And everyone left the room. With Gonta leading as we hurried out of the gym. Just when I was about to follow after them. Okay, uh, that was pretty cool back there. Huh? What was? The way you changed the mood completely. It uh, seems like everyone looks up to you. Looks up to me? Come on, that's ridiculous. I just spoke from the heart, that's all. So, it just comes naturally to you then. That's even more cool. You have what it takes to win. What? I was just thinking. What you said back there, you would have pissed off whoever's running this. They definitely don't want us holding hands, working together. They're going to come for you, Kaede, with everything they've got. I'm a little worried about you. You're s so straightforward. Yeah, he's right about that. Oh, and away he goes. That guy could really stand uh, to be less cryptic. Uh, perhaps it's a warning? That's what I think, anyway. Being strong-willed could get you into a lot of trouble around here. Dot dot dot. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to sound so negative at a time like this. It's fine. You only said that because you're worried, aren't you? Yeah, Rantaro, R Rantaro is a mystery. He forgot his ultimate talents as well. Is that something you can really forget? Well, there's, nothing, there's no use thinking about it right now. We should just head to that manhole. Yeah, you're right. Then... Shall we go? Would you like to leave? Yes, very much so. Find the manhole, wherever it is. Looks like we're all here. So, where's the manhole? Um, over there in grass. In grass, actually. Over there in grass. Here, manhole. It's true. There's actually there really is a manhole in the grass. An important hole near some bush? Sounds familiar, am I right, ladies? Uh, th this manhole cover looks heavy. Can we even lift it? I can try. Kibo placed his hand uh, on the manhole cover and with all his strength he... How embarrassing. It won't even budge. Oh, uh, robot's not even strong enough to move it? Oh, don't worry, I'm, my physical strength is approximate to what uh, of a strong senior uh, senior citizen. That's a fucking pathetic. The professor did not want to, uh, a repeat of the tragedy, tragedy that occurred during the trial projection. Okay. Mm, so, I'm just plain curious about what happened during the, that trial. Oh, then allow Gun Gonta, Gonta lift cover before to peek inside. Should be able to pick up cover too. Gonta place his hand in the, uh, on the manhole cover and... He's so fucking strong. Whoopsie daisy. So easily? His strength must be due to my magic. Okay then. Just taking credit for yourself, come on, don't be like that. But with nowhere to dispose of this manhole cover, Gonta's um, bag, um, bag red... Bag... Uh, bag grudgingly tossed it aside. Okay. Bag rudgingly, dingly. The manhole cover easily traveled five yards before it hit the ground. Holy shit! What a won what wonderful strength! You could like crush a crush a child's skull with ease. N how ungentle many! Gonta never do that. Gentlemen or not, no one would do that. But Gonta is so much more reliable than some bean-counting robot. 
Are you talking about me? Because I can count many things, not just beans. Okay then. While everyone else was talking, I slowly peeked into the manhole. It was too dark inside to see clearly, but it could feel I could feel cold, moist air drifting up from it. This place is kinda creepy. We're really going in there? I'm sure it's fine. At the very least, we definitely won't die down there. If anything happens, I'll protect most of you. But the degenerate males are on their own. Then Gonta protect menfolk. Awfully quiet. Where are Monokuma and the uh, Monocups? I was certain they would show up at the point and crush us like rotten gnats. Yeah, they probably haven't noticed yet. Then I hurry before they show up to mess with us. One by one, we each descended down the manhole. Once we all had climbed in, uh, down the ladder, we looked around and saw an open area. An open area? How come? What? It's more spacious than I thought it'd be. Yadley! What is this place? An old industri industrial passageway, I suspect. Perhaps factories once existed here? And this is all that's left of them. Hey, take a look at this. An exit? What a considerate sign, apparently the end of the tunnel is the exit. Considerate? You don't think it's weird that someone went out of their way to write exit? Don't piss, <laughs> don't piss yourself in fear, your natural scent is bad enough. I'm not scared and I smell just fine. Well then, go on ahead, no point standing around here. Uh, yeah, no need to worry. It looks a bit dangerous, but we're all ultimates here. As long as we work together, everything will work out just fine. Probably. Yeah, you're right. That's exactly wh what I was gonna say. You were r really on the same wavelength, Kaede. Give me a hug. Mm, no. Typical degener degenerate behavior. God damn it. I, I, I can, why I, can I not say that word today? Degenerate. You were trying to to trick her into pressing her boobs against you. What? It's pro it will probably be okay. There'll be an accent and at the end of this. And once we reach it, it's it will this will all be over. I just know it. I clung fiercely to that belief as I as we stepped into the tunnel. You're about to take on the death road of despair? The objective is simple. Everyone works together to escape. Use the A and D keys to move left and right and press the W key to jump up. You'll encounter plenty of traps set up to prevent you from escaping. If you hit a, a trap and fall from a ledge, that person will be eliminated. And controlling will switch to one of the remaining students. What? So, move, cheer, jump. Is this escape key? They said it was the WASD key. Cheer, control, okay then, I guess. Hmm. Oh sorry, didn't mean for this to get that real. For now, stay vigilant and do your best to reach the exit. Not that it matters. Okay! Okay then. Oh shit. Did I just lose a person forever? Okay! I thought one tra once the trap w was like gone. 
What the fuck? What? Are we supposed to lose this? Okay, then. Okay, this is a bit unfair. I have no idea what to do. Fuck. Why are you there? No! Run back! Shit. You can't make it across that. It's impossible. What? Why did... Oh my gosh. Well, sh shit. Was this supposed to happen? Because, like, this control, like, ass, and it was pretty much impossible. Was this supposed to happen? Uh, what? As I slowly opened my eyes, it dawned on me that, that I had somehow lost consciousness. Oh! You're awake. Are you alright? I'm fine. What about everyone else? I looked around and saw the others sitting on the ground. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Everyone uh, sat in stunned silence. A sovereign sadness filled the air. Jeez, this is quite a pity. A, a party you sad sacks are throwing for yourselves. Monokuma? The rising sign and the sign. Uh, so funny. Wow, you all look exhausted. Probably th things. I feel sorry for you. Sheesh, this place is filthy. It's murder on cashmere skin. On my cashmere skin. I bet one of them is feeling lucky right now. His body already. His body is already a cheap piece of junk. Dot dot dot. Why don't you respond to him, Monodam? It will liven things up a little, you know? So you guys crawled out of your holes. I guess you finally noticed what we were up to. Noticed? I've known for a while that you guys would, would bo botch whatever escape plan you had. What? Yeah, I also kinda pretty much knew that too. That's a lie. If you knew that all along, then this was just a trap? There, then there was no exit, you tricked us. No, there's an exit. I think you guys will manage to reach it if you all work together. Yeah, there's nothing you 16 ultimates can't accomplish if you work together. Boo hoo hoo, and if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Try as many times as you wouldn't want until you accept reality. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. so funny. Oh shit. Yeah, so we can escape if we work hard enough. No way, you little moron. It, they, they'd be freaking out if we could actually reach it. That's probably why they, uh, they let us try. They wanted us to mm, try the underground passage, and so we'd learn that escape is impossible. Instead of blocking off every e exit completely, they leave that little bit of hope. They want us to be desperate to go home, corner us mentally. That's just rotten. Yeah, but we can't just give up. Right, guys? I mean, we've only fa failed once, you know? We can't just give up, we can't give up this early, right? But isn't getting out of here impossible? No, it's not. It may take more than one try, or a lot more tries, but it's not impossible. Forget about Madokuma, it doesn't matter what he says to us. I don't want to, I don't want to lose to him, and I don't want an, uh, any of you to lose either. I refuse to lose to someone who... Who would do th these terrible things to us? Kaede. So let's all work together, all work hard to escape this place together. And once we get out of, of here and make it to the outside world, why don't we all say friends? F friends? Yeah, after growing through, uh, after going through the, an experience like this, I think we'd all uh, be able to be best, uh, the best of friends. 
I mean, it's not like every day you get to, uh, to meet other ultimates. So what do you say? <laughs> that might be, uh, might not be bad. Yeah, that's a great idea. Then we've all the more reason to escape this pla this place, no matter what. My body is ready. You can tell by uh, uh, by how out of control my pit sweat is. Okay then, everyone. Isn't it pre premature to say that we'll do after what we'll do after we escape? Assumptions are but useless. Jeez, you're clueless. Um, why am I not surprised that a robot can read the air? Robots can read the air thanks to uh, uh, innovations in pollutant detecting technology. I, anyway, it doesn't matter if Kano uh, Monokuma says it's impossible. We'll show him what we can do. Yeah, you're right. It seems like a pain, but I guess I'll try. Yeah, let's work together. We messed up uh, last time, but I'm sure it'll go well this time. I'm sure it'll be fine. A, divini a, a divine mind will blow through and lift us to victory. Ah, humanity is truly wonderful. The way you all confront adversity is beautiful. With our bond stronger than ever, we stepped into the tunnel once more. Why would you want to do that, actually? I'm gonna have to leave this video here. I know that that you know I kind of left it in this in this weird place to leave it, but if we're just going to try again, it's just gonna be uh, um, like trial and error every single time. This is not gonna be an exit. Even if we, if we get to the end, I don't believe that there's an exit. Also, why would there be a control to cheer everyone up? I don't understand that. If this is actually how the game is supposed to go, what the hell? Ugh. But I guess that will have to do for this video, so thank you guys so much for watching this one. If you liked it, just click like button, let me know, subscribe to the channel for more content, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!